I started dancing from a very, very young age. Like, I was one of them kids. Like, a song come on the radio, I'm on top of the table, and I'm dancing. I'll turn it up. I remember the first time I ever, my mama ever saw me dance, it was on top of a table. And my auntie and her friends was like, yes, get it, get it. And I was, like, really dancing. And it was like, I was dancing like a girl. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. And I was like, oh, my God. She caught me, and I'm, like, five years old at this point. So I'm not thinking I'm doing nothing wrong. And she like, no, no, you will not. No, you will not. That's how I started dance. It's always been a part of my life. I just like to dance. Like, I always just have my little happy dances or something. Like, you'll catch me, like, jumping around or just dance. I'm just an all-around bubbly person. I was in and out of high schools. I was actually, like, leaving high school. So I didn't, I wasn't able to, like, still major at, at the high school that I was at because I was kicked out. So in that instance, I thought that it was just over. Like, okay, well, you can't do ballet. You can't do modern dance through school. So what's the next step? Like, you can't do major anymore. So like, what's the next step? I feel like I couldn't get away from dancing if I wanted to. So like, every time I turn around, it's something else that's showing me that I'm supposed to be dancing. Like, I couldn't necessarily figure out a dance that fit me. And then I seen Vogan. And it was like, there was something very non-binary about Vogan, but it was filled with so much sass and like creativity. And I was like, literally all these people are doing the same dance and it looks different for every person. It literally looks different. And it was just like, this is it. It was like, like a light bulb in my head. Like, oh, there's a way to be expressive through dance. Um, it got me to express myself in a way that I didn't think I could actually. It, it kind of boosted my confidence up and it kind of like helped me go out there more and like experience more like I'm more of a homebody shy type of person. So this kind of gave me that opportunity to branch out and be someone else and like express myself in a way that I typically probably wouldn't have done. It's just fun. It's a way to express how you feel. It's a way to clear your mind. It does a lot that a lot of people really wouldn't think that it does. It takes you away from going through something or you just want to go have some fun with your friends, it just takes your mind off of everything. It's like a stress reliever. It just clears my head of all the, and like, I know that I have to go back to, like, you know, thinking about everyday life, but in that moment, I don't have to worry about anything and I'm just free to dance and enjoy myself. I can be as feminine as possible, there's no judgment. Um, I can go out there and wear whatever I want to. And I just feel like myself that mm, I think it's best and it looks better when you go out there and be yourself. So myself is feminine. I get out there, I, I spin, I dance, I get on the floor and I do my best. I dance in front of my people and stuff like that. It just shows them, you know, what I actually really do. So I, you know, express myself through dancing. And um, at first I was a little shy about it and stuff like that and, you know, scared to do it. But after a while, I felt comfortable. It's a huge confidence boost to be able to just pick something up and be like, dang, I'm really good at this. And it's like, well, you've been dancing your whole life, so of course you're good at it. It's just a different type of dance. I'm just not the person I was before I walked onto the floor. It's like an alter ego for me. I'm like actually kind of shy before I do it. And then it's just like, I go, I'm somebody else when I'm, you know, when I'm old, as soon as I start going into it, like, like all that goes away and I'm somebody different for that moment. I believe in showing people that just because you are different or just because you don't have something that the main couple of people have does not mean that you're going to be any less of a person or any less of a dancer than them. Um, and I think that that's just something that we don't even, we don't think about it, right? Because these people are trans, gay, lesbian, gender not conforming, non-binary. And it's like, we don't know how to deal with differences in America through our history, right? How do we deal with people who are different from us? <laughs> it's mostly an attack on you, right? A lot of um, us are discarded when we come out or 
per se like be gay like really open because I didn't like get like thrown away until I decided to be in trans. Mom was not having it. And so she was one of those moms like, okay, you can be a gay boy, as long as you keep them pants on in that polo. And that just was never me. And I was just like, no, I'm not doing this. That's the type of strength that we have as black LGBTQ people is like this relentless survival. And we want everyone to be there with us at the end. Like when we've succeeded, we want all people to be there. <laughs> we don't want to be standing there like, all right, hetero cis heterosexual people, we made it. <laughs> like, no, we want to all be standing on that line and say, like, yo, this is what difference looks like. This is what the this is what a human being can look like. <laughs> it's like, one day we'll get there. I want everyone to be who they want to be. Be who you want to be, do what you want to do, as long as you're keeping yourself happy and you're not harming anyone else. Like, that's what I fight for, I guess. I'm fighting for that ability for you to express and be who you want to be because I know that's a world that I want to live in. Thank you.